Hello lovely ladies and gentlemen, my name is B and today I'm gonna talk about Sambucus nigra. It's profound smell, it's appearance, uh, brief history, medical benefits and how to prepare your favorite drinks, all in these stories. First, I would like to mention that we have timeline located down in the description that you can use to quickly and easily navigate through the video. We have general information, touch of history, about medical benefits, we talk also here, and last part is cooking time, where all recipes hide. Also, I would like to mention that we have started our Patreon page, which you can use to support us as well. Sambucus nigra or elderberry or just elder or blackberry is a type of plant from family Adoxace, native to Europe and North America. It grows into shrub to small tree and has flowers and it has flowers that are umbrella-like. They are small white flowers with nice scent that are used primarily as a cordial and for wine and juice creation. Uh, please remember that uh, leaves, bark and the green berries, they are toxic. Only flowers and berries that are ripe can be used. It has been used by humans since the Stone Age. First written evidence about usage of elderberry can be found in ancient Greece or ancient Rome. Hippocrates devoted special attention to this plant. Now, in medieval times, in times of mysticism and magic, Elderberry was usually planted close to the home and the leaves of elderberry were worn around neck of humans, animals and even tossed in the graves of deceased people to protect them from witches and from the devil. Elderberry contain approximately 40 compounds that are important for us. Flavonoids, fluorogenic acid, synaptic acid Tizinamic acid, rutin and quercetin are one of most dominant compounds contained in flowers of elderberry. Because of all ingredients, it has strong influence in reducing numbers of bacteria, especially Micrococcus luteus, Proteus mirabilis, Pseudomonas fragi, and Escherichia coli as one study in Molecules publication of 21 shows. Because of antibacterial and antioxidative properties, elderberry is great for treating swollen sinuses, colds, influenza, bronchitis, even diabetes because of diuretic properties and it might work as an insulin, shortness of breath and constipation. Traditional medicine reports that it is good as tonic against joint pain, pain and swelling, and tonic against red eyes. Elderberry is great against fever because it stimulates sweating and urine output. Now it can be used to treat inflammation of the mucous membranes. One spoon of dried elder flowers with stems removed is good enough for one cup of tea. You can let it steep for 10 minutes. Of course you can add honey, lime or lemon. Bes now besides of tea we can make other beverages. For example we can make elder flower liquor. To make a one liter approximately or close to two liters of liquor you'll need at least 10 
I would advise 15 fresh flowers from elderberry and when I say flowers I mean flowers together in an umbrella around 360 to 400 grams of sugar and 600 milliliters of water we heat water with sugar inside to approximately boiling temperature we want to make sure that sugar is dissolved in the water that there is no sugar flying in when we stir it and we leave it, everything to cool down when it has cooled down we can place it in plastic container with a good quality lid and then we add a pouch of citric acid and elder flowers and gently stir them by doing that we promote elder flowers to give more scent we cover everything and let it cool three days in a fridge now I would advise stir it once or twice a day for extra aroma after three days we add alcohol we can use plain ethyl alcohol in form of grain alcohol which will give you pure taste of elderflower or you can mix it with some kind of rakia, vodka or other strong alcoholic beverage that doesn't have that strong taste in that mixture we add approximately 750 to 800 milliliters of alcohol and we stir everything again we put it in the fridge and leave it three days so after six whole days we strain it through fine sieve and fill sterilized bottle we close those bottles and keep them in cold dark place and enjoy the taste in the proper dosages of course <laughs> we don't want to be drinking too much alcohol would we no. there are talks about elderflower juice I personally love it some people says that it is not very good for you the only problem with elderflower juice is actually that it is syrup and it has a lot of sugar inside so you shouldn't be drinking too much juice because of the amount of sugar right on the other hand it is great for detoxication the only thing you know is that you need to watch out of that sugar to make four liters of juice which is not much i would advise to, to make 40 liters for a year but you can start with four liters to see if you would like now to make four liters of syrup you need 10 to 30 flowers when i say 10 to 30 flowers i mean 10 to 30 fresh flowers all clustered like umbrella so 10 umbrellas 10 to 30 umbrellas to be precise one liter of water one kilogram of sugar and lemon one lemon some people put a pouch of citric acid which is five grams of citric acid why do they put them well they want to make sure that their syrup is protected and will stay usable for next year now submerge fresh flowers in water and add acid if you would like and freshly cut lemon now you need to cut it in big pieces it's the best thing to do stir it and leave 24 hours strain it and add sugar mix couple of times next 24 hours for sugar to dissolve and for extra aroma sterilize bottles and pour syrup in put it on cold dark place now don't forget you can use it up to a year one bonus tip I almost forgot to add flowers are harvested on a sunny day when there were no rain for at least three days and also watch where you are harvesting flowers because they are like magnet and they attract pollution from surroundings go as far as you can away from cities and human population when harvesting elderberry flowers watching this video you have been an amazing audience if you like this video please consider hitting that like button and also if you would like to hear more stories like this please consider subscribing now what I have mentioned at the beginning of this video we have started our patreon page where you can log in and if you would like you can financially support us to grow and make even better videos thank you again bye